good morning or good afternoon. So this is what I do right here in the morning or the afternoon. I sleep in. Literally, I work all day. I like work 16 hours a day. But on my off days, I try to sleep in like this and watch TV. <laughs> so this is my morning. I don't know what I'm going to do to get this day started. Probably go back to sleep. Ah. Time to eat. <laughs> wiper because it broke on the way here so we had to stop and get one so we can continue to go there <sighs> yep one thing about road trips well while I'm here in O'Reilly's I gotta use it yeah another thing constantly have to be <laughs> <laughs> so today was January the 26th and I'm just recording now because we made it home I had to take a nap we went to Memphis. I didn't really get much footage while we was there because my phone was low and I was hoping to hang out with my best friend, but everything got tied up. So I wasn't able to get more footage there as I wish that I did. But we went there, uh, met his mom and stuff. Uh, family had a big dinner. They had hamburgers, chicken strips, fries, wings. They always cooking big meals on Sundays. <laughs> Uh, so after we got done eating, we went, uh, he went to the college up there to drop off some stuff and then we headed back this way. I drove home. I was tired, irritated and tired. Now I got home. I took like a hour nap. Now I'm still sleepy and I'm hungry again. So I'm probably about to fix me something to eat. We've been watching this show here, um, October fiction. Been watching that. He been working on his dress. He have a pageant coming up next week. Uh, so I hope that everything go good with that pageant that he's in. And I'm just gonna find something to eat. Cause I'm home. Yes. I'm about to get some bread. <laughs> I get cussed out. I said I get cussed out. Oh, Hawaiian bread. That's some good bread. Oh, oh, oh. That's some good bread. Yeah, but the Hawaiian rolls smell like booty. You never smelled the Hawaiian rolls? Them things smell like booty. Straight booty. So I guess it's time to go. Now we finally finna check out. We got all this food, most of it for work. Valentine's Day coming up. Yep. Good morning, y'all. Today is the 27th. It's a Monday. Um, 
just a few more days before the big appointment, which is on the 30th. Um, last night, we, after I ate my sandwich, I went to sleep. I was tired. <laughs> um, I really kind of just slept, and then I woke up, then I slept, then I woke up. Then I, it was just more of a trying to get comfortable to sleep because I'm a stomach sleeper, so it made it hard to sleep. So today, basically, I got to get I got to work today. I work two jobs, <laughs> literally. So I work like 16 hours a day. And basically, I go in before 3, and then I don't get off to 7 that next morning. And I try to sleep in the morning, and I do it all again. That's my work schedule. Right now, I'm just trying to work both jobs until I save up enough money to get another better vehicle and save up enough money to um, <clears throat> start saving up for this unborn child. The unborn. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> but yeah, I was just about to get this day started. About to shower, handle my hygiene, and find something to eat. Alrighty. So I am at work. I'm on my 15 minute break. Getting my Tito's. And my Capri Sun and my oatmeal cake. And I'm tired <laughs> already. Got two more breaks to go. So, yeah. I'm here on lunch. I'm eating some chicken fried rice with some barbecue thingamajigs. Got this to drink. And some. Bar uh, some Doritos. I've been hungry. I'm tired. I'm ready to go home. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm ready to go home. <laughs> but I can't even go home because I, when I get off this one, I have to go to the next one. I'm exhausted and I'm tired. <laughs> I have snacks for now for my last break, but I don't think I'm going to eat them. But I do have these. I'm going to eat some of these because these sounds good. So, yeah. This is my last break. It's 10 o'clock. I get off at 11. And then I'll straight to my other job and I'll be cool. And go there and I don't know. I guess we'll have to see. <laughs> so, y'all, I am officially off work. Um, It's 11 something. So, I'm about to head out and go to my other job. Today at work was very tiring and exhausting, but I made it. Now I'm ready to go home, work, go to my other job, and do it all over again tomorrow. So basically my other job just consists of me sitting and watching a client overnight. I don't know if I'm going to do any footage there due to HIPAA laws. But if not, I will see y'all tomorrow. Tomorrow will be the 28th, and therefore it will be two more days before my big appointment. And yeah, see y'all on the 28th. Good night. Good, good morning. Today is the 28th. Um, I'm just getting off work. I really didn't sleep much last night. I was up and down. Um, on the way to the house, about to go get some food. My car is loud, y'all. I know my car is real loud. But I'm going to record when I get to the house. <laughs> I made it home. Yeah. Time to go to sleep again. Y'all know what I'm saying for the turn up in the bed. Girl, you want let me get out. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Straight to the fridge. Where's my biscuit? We did a little tragedy from us. I think we were good. Uh-oh. Well, I think there's already some on the Some 
have the apples, but, but sausage and biscuits and orange juice. Yeah, buddy. A little breakfast just to make make it through the morning. What's up, y'all? So I just got up from my nap. Uh, I got dressed and stuff. And got my body ready for the day. So I am on my way to therapy. I know I'm gonna go to therapy once a week, but I be tired. I only get like five hours to myself in a day before going to work. I'm exhausted. So, I got my little snack packs. And I'm about to head to therapy. Hope I get a chance to talk to my doctor that's there, my PCP. And uh, figure out some stuff. I'm so tired, y'all. This fatigue is killing me. And as I can see, I got like bumps breaking out like i didn't even break out when i was taking my tea shots that's ridiculous i only get bumps like this when it's almost at monthly monster time but this time is gonna be longer than a monthly monster i hate bumps it's crazy because i didn't i never had bumps i never got teenager bumps or nothing so this is very new to me to walk around with this on my face so uh, hopefully i buy some face wash uh with some of that stuff in there apple crapple scrub or something to help clear this up uh so i guess that's the pregnancy thing y'all i am exhausted but like i've been taking my vitamins but it ain't good enough i'm tired eventually i'm gonna have to let one of these jobs go <laughs> but i gotta do what i gotta do for my little baby you know i'm trying to get a car because this car right here and cutting it and it feel every bump that I hear, every crack crevices in the streets. It's annoying. It's loud. It's an attention seeker. I like the cop, but it's just not for me. Um Yeah. I'm gonna have to get a new car. Definitely. Especially for the baby. Way before we get here. Because I'm not gonna be driving around and boom, boom. Every time I hit some boom. Next thing I know the damn baby on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> those people. Boop. Oh shit. It's a boy. <laughs> so yeah, no. I definitely need a new car. If I'm trying to work hard, need a new car, save up some money, figure out this living situation. Because like in the next three months, my damn lease for the meal. I don't know if I'm gonna move in with my baby daddy or not. I want to, but I prefer us to be together if we're going to move in together because I get jealous. Um, <laughs> I don't know. It's just a lot. There's so much it's to figure out and it's overwhelming to think about. So, yeah. I'm just updating y'all. Two more days, y'all. Two more days before a big appointment. I'm excited. I'm so excited. I'm ready for this ultrasound. <laughs> All right. Oh, I just left therapy. My hair is a hot mess. Therapy was good as usual. Excuse me. Um, now I'm on the way to get me something to eat because I am hungry as usual. And then I'm going to go to work. I was supposed to go get me a shirt, but I forgot. And I already passed Goodwill. God damn. Well, I tell you, this day is not enough time in a day for me. Man. Okay, y'all. The Lord had blessed me. I went to work. And they had enough people. So I got sent home. I'm so excited. Y'all don't understand how excited. I am. I get to sleep. <laughs> Y'all don't understand the half of it. I get to sleep. Damn. That's why I need a new car, boy. This car be throwing me around. <laughs> Man. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. So, I'm on my way to the house. I know my car loud. I'm on my way to the house. And uh, we got some errands to run. Me and the baby daddy. And I guess, I guess that's it. I get the rest today, besides tonight, before I go to my other job. Ah, I can't wait to get a new car. 
<laughs> so I'm done running errands and we got some pizza for dinner. Uh, he's still going to cook some food for later on. Um, we're about to chill and watch some on Netflix. I'm just going to relax a little and take a nap. There we go. And take a nap. Um, Cause I'm tired. I really feel like I need to catch up on a lot of sleep. Uh, I, it's funny because my niece, me and her, are the same the same age, and she she just found out that she's like 11 weeks. And her like she showed me her ultrasound, and I can't wait until my ultrasound. <laughs> so I definitely can't wait. But just a few more days, and we shall see. And uh, yeah. Woo! I'm excited, but I'm tired. <laughs> Good morning. So, I'm at home eating breakfast. Let me turn this up. We got some pancakes, sausages. Now, um, little sausages and biscuits. And some orange juice. Um, today is the 29th. Tomorrow is the big appointment. Not too far away. All I got to do today is go to work. Get off work in the morning. Go straight to the appointment. Yep. So, um, I had went to the restroom. I'm on my way to work. I had went to the restroom this evening, and I noticed that um, I had brown spotting, and I, I'm not for sure if that's normal or not. I'm scared, <laughs> you know, because it's my first child. And I definitely don't want to lose it. You know, that's one of my biggest fears right there. It's, it's, it's miscarriaging. And I guess with the spotting, it's, it's scaring me. And I just don't know what to do. Um, I don't know what to do. I called my doctor. She's too busy right now. And I inboxed my gender doctor, which is also my OB. And I'm waiting on somebody to tell me something. I googled it. They said it could be normal, you know, but let the doctor know. I'm just scared. <laughs> like, I'm not cramping. So, I'm like, okay, maybe there's hope. But now I'm just like real mysterious right now. I don't know what's going on. And I'm irritated because I just want to rest. and go through the same thing and this is completely normal and they don't have to worry about freaking out like I'm freaking out at the moment which I am freaking out um yeah I will keep you guys posted when my doctor call when my doctor calls me back and let me know what's going on um if I'm not busy at work It's just one more day before my big appointment. Just one more day. And this is going on. I'm like, hang in there one more day so we can see what's wrong, please. Come on, little Bing. You a fighter. My little Bing a fighter. You gotta fight. I mean, come on now. You have to. So I realized I just want to go to the ER to make sure that everything is okay. So I'm on my way to the ER to make sure that everything is alright. Um, I'm just having like dull sharp pain, but nothing bad sharp pain. Um, I don't know. The way I can explain it is like when I woke up from my nap, I felt bloated. You know, like that feeling when you're about to, for people who have a monthly monster, 
like you're about to come on your monthly monster and you go white and it's there. That's that feeling that I had. Um, I'm nervous still. I'm scared. I'm on the way. Hopefully, uh, baby daddy will meet me there so I won't be by myself. Uh, I don't like doctors as much as I should because this situation, I don't like explaining the situation to people. Um, kind of emotional because I don't want to lose this child because this child gonna be like everything to me, you know? Everything. Like, I went all my life not feeling wanted and not feeling like I'm enough, you know? And that's something that a lot of us trans people deal with. And I have this opportunity to give life to, uh, to give life to something that's gonna always be there for me and never forget me, you know, and always love me. And, you know, it'll just be good to have a team, you know, like relationships comes and goes and stuff. Friendship comes and goes. But when you create a bond like that with the human that you bring into this world, it's an unbreakable bond. And I want that. You know? And I feel like if I miss this opportunity, I don't I don't know. It's gonna mess with me heavy. Cause I'm gonna feel so alone again, you know? And I don't wanna feel alone. So me and baby daddy <laughs> is here at the hospital in NEA. That's him walking up there with the hoodie on. Um, I'm gonna go back and see what's up. Right now, I don't know what's the feeling, but so I'm here in the waiting room. Uh, they already did this and did that. Now we're just waiting, waiting, and waiting. I have to use it. So yeah. So I'm here in the back. Been back here for a while. So we look waiting, and they're gonna do like a. Uh, pelvic exam thingy. No, not a pelvic exam. They're going to stick a thing up my u basically, and do the ultrasound thingy through my u <laughs> And we're just chilling. Really. Just waiting is all we can do. So, yeah. So, I'm about to take a nap before I go to work. No. The doctor visit was okay. She said it's just some type of little bleeding that happened between the sac and the, the uterus or something like that. But it's it's kind of okay and normal. It's just something I've talked to my OB about. And uh, just keep following up on that and stuff. And I'm about to nap. Go to sleep before I go back to work. we will go to my other job. So, yeah. Tomorrow in the morning, it's the big day. That's what I'm excited for right there. Good morning, America. <laughs> I'm so excited, y'all. Today is the 30th. Today is the bean day. We get to see the bean, y'all. And I am driving my car. Let me turn this light up. I am driving my, not my car. I'm driving my baby daddy car today. Not to Little Rock, sadly, but I'm driving it from work because I drove it to work. So that's why it's quiet while I'm driving. I'm like, ah, like I did some editing to the video last night. And I was like, oh my God, this car is like photo bombing every video because it's so loud. And I'm so excited, y'all. We finally get out. Like, even though I seen the Bing last night, yesterday, um, I'm so excited to see it again. Like, I wish I could just sit there forever and get an ultrasound forever so I can, like, 
watch the baby the whole time, you know. <laughs> Ow. This is how I feel. So I'm tired. I'm so tired, y'all. Like, y'all already know I'm always tired and hungry. There's nothing new. But I'm tired. Like, I only had like two hours of sleep last night because I was up editing a video and I just couldn't sleep. I just can't get comfortable. Please don't run out here, kid. I just can't get comfortable in a recliner. It's just, I can't. And it's real hard to get comfortable in that recliner like I want to. So, ugh, it left me tired. My plan was to dance a lot of birds. My plan was to just go there, go to sleep through the night, wake up early in the morning, and be refreshed with the sun and the light and just be ready and then drive the Little Rock fine. No. No, I gotta be tired. I only get two hours. So, I'm gonna drive to, I'm gonna run this red light. Y'all didn't hear that. So, I, I'm finna, uh, yo, I'm finna drive to Little Rock, go to my doctor's appointment. And I fan to uh, get some sleep. Afterwards, on the way back, or something, I'm going to crash. Probably why they on the table doing the ultrasound. I'm be like, give me one second. <laughs> Let me go my eyes while <laughs> I'm driving. I'm going to run this red light. Y'all didn't hear that. <laughs> I'm just trying to make it home. <laughs> Hi right, y'all. Good morning. Like I said, today is the 30th. Today is the big appointment day. All right. So, right. So <laughs> today was supposed to be appointment day. So we go. We went to the gas station, tried to fill up on gas. And something was in the back of my head was saying call before I go up there. Because I just wanted to confirm my appointment. Because normally doctors... I want the big one. You said the big one? Yeah, I want this one. We're getting ready for breakfast. Um, so, some told me to call to confirm my appointment. I called up there, and um, they said I ain't had no appointment. I was like, so I'm glad I didn't take that three-hour trip all the way up there just to see. But now I'm playing uh, chase my doctor down. Because I need this appointment, especially what happened yesterday, I have to see her. Plus, I took off. Like, you know, and it's just miscommunication all over. One person said March the 10th, and I'm like, that's my gender return. Um, just for my normal transition appointment. And in the messages, she put 127, but it's not on my chart. So I didn't see that part. And when we talked on the phone, she said 1.30, uh, January the 30th, which is today, because I was like, oh, that's Thursday, I get paid today. So that's how I remember that day. And it's just not in the uh, charts. So now we just get doing this run around where I'm trying to get in contact with her so she could try to at least make time for me today to, you know, like, <laughs> I'm trying to check on this little bean. Plus, this is supposed to be the big appointment day for my season two. I mean, episode two. Like, now you're just throwing my episodes off. <laughs> I'm still posted, though. It's just going to be a be continued or some type of situation. And we just have to see because this has definitely been a runaround. But I'm going to wait before I post it. I hate the smell in Kroger's when you get close to the fish department. <laughs> it stinks. So we gonna most definitely, ooh, Creole season. Oh, it's gumbo. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna keep y'all posted. Hopefully we can get in this appointment today. It's always something interesting. That's why I'm documenting this. 
go. Uh, my doctor, well, a nurse just called. She said, just come in as soon as I can. So, we're back on board. We just have to see. Yeah. This is supposed to be a breakfast burrito thing from McDonald's. This looks like nothing but bread. I'm very upset. And it was like $3 for this piece of shit. But I'm going to eat it because I'm hungry. <laughs> but we about to head to Little Rock. And we shall be there shortly. So we... I am. We made it. <laughs> Took a couple of long turns, but that's nothing new. I'm always missing my turn. There ain't nothing new. Coming here, I right, saw so it's like a ritual now. So we hear y'all. Stay posted. So, you excited? You excited? Is you excited? You nervous? You ready? You ain't ready? What you mean you ain't ready? What you mean? No, now you got to be. You ain't ready. You know you're ready. You know you're excited. Don't be fronting. What you doing? Oh my goodness. You're going to be quiet the whole like documentary and stuff. Yep. Why? You got to interact. When I make it famous, remember, remember this moment. <laughs> no, they were like, no, they were like, no, he wasn't interacting. <laughs> Just quiet background. Give me that. Give me that. No. I can't get nothing. So we just waiting in the waiting room. I'm kind of concerned about my name because they still got my dead name on here. But I don't know if they're doing it for a specific reason. But we shall figure out. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. They're doing it for the system. Oh, my eyelids be shiny. That's weird. But yeah. Just in the back, waiting for them to start up the machine. We just chilling like a villain. So this is your bladder here. This is your uterus, and this is the pregnancy. Mm -hmm. and we'll zoom in a little bit. Looks good. So see that little flicker of light? That's the heartbeat. Mm -hmm. And this part, this circle that looks like a halo, that's the yolk sac. Oh, okay. Uh, but this little part down here, that's the embryo. Okay. Um, let's see if you can get a better picture. Okay, that looks great. So look at that, looks like a diamond ring, right? Mm -hmm. So we'll get a little idea of how we're measuring. We should be 6'6", six, six, I think, based on 6'5", that's amazing. Yeah, that's perfect. That's really good. I'm not going to measure the heartbeat where we can hear it. I'm just going to uh, measure it visually. Just because when they're this slow, I mean, this young, we don't want to hit too much um, energy on them. That's good, about 130. That's fabulous. Okay. Looks good, I know. Show me more picture. Their heart is crazy. Doesn't it look good? Okay, yeah. coming out. All right. <laughs>